as we move into consistent shorts on YouTube and when Spotify allows the videos to also be uploaded, I want to talk a little bit about 5D, so fifth dimension. And to give a little background and also to connect those to relationships, to poly and just secure attachment and in general individuals. So one, 5D, when I came to know the term, it was before our lovely earth was in its actual fifth dimension vibration. <laughs> and I say it with that look because it's something that for the 5D person, it's not some magical conspiracy or not like we are very much in a relationship with energy. So the inclined 5D person is an individual who has a very grounded relationship with their actual life as a human being. So they'll be inclined to be their own agent and they'll be inclined to pursue restoring their restorative embodied self. They will also be only in a state of compassion towards humanity and life. If they are busy with the word karma and light and dark battle, and then they're busy with any type of those stories, the reptilians and governments, all of that. If any of that is part of the equation, that's 4D. It's the fourth dimension, and it's actually explained very well by people who do metaphysics, esotericism, concepts, and they're all about the whole false light, and they conceptualize dreams that they have, which aren't just dreams, we know that, so I have clears, and this is why 5D, I use it because I am here to speak and share with those who are in the same boat. And those people, as you saw from the resources, are interested in human topics besides spirituality and spiritual, so metaphysics, esotericism, crystals. I've had crystals. Wow. When I started to get my crystals, like I miss them if they're not around. So we have a relationship with energy. I'm a Reiki practitioner. And when that took place, I was very happy every time I'm able to provide support to a person, even one of my... Um, people that came to me one of the times she actually opened her eyes and she's like wow your, your face looks so much more like you're in your spot when you're doing a Reiki, Reiki session I, I was embarrassed if you will but it was fun to hear about that because it's you know connecting to the universal love energy which is what I love to use the universal love energy my Reiki master my teacher allows us to use different words and see here's where it is energy so 5d person is not going to relate to this sphere of clairs with the stories and what i mean by that is that they will start to learn about metaphysics esotericism astrology crystals everything but they will not identify with it and they in fact do not move into only doing the spirituality soul age group they move into their enlightenment soul age group which we talk about so if you're curious about soul age groups go to lonewolf.com he think it's a he but i'm not sure loner lonerwolf.com look up soul age groups you'll find the list so we got infant their main focus is being alive the baby is belonging the young is independence the mature is interpersonal harmony old is spiritual fulfillment and the elder is enlightenment and so the reality is a 5D person will just be in love with life and humanity. So they won't be going the route of spirituality. The ones who go the route of spirituality are actually individuals who have a level of insecure or non-secure attachment. And so their drive is belonging and or certainty. So they look outside themselves and they base their steps on the external and they do karma for a lot longer and when i say karma it's not a bad thing they are actually bringing to their relationships their non-secure attachment wounds so a 5d person will not bring their attachment wounds to their relationships because we are honest and transparent and we will communicate no matter how we have to our truth to any person platonic romantic sexual you name it family we don't actually have filters especially with the day-to-day -day person in our lives like none whatsoever we learn how to have quote-unquote filters but the reality is we just pick people who have enough of a secure 
less in their own selves to be able and actually be straight so we don't we don't hide away behind uh anything and this is why a 5d person is always and only going to be in a state of compassion and not human suffering if they have gone through that once they're achieving their fullness which isn't a good or bad thing it's that they've moved into their secure attachment body they've moved into a restored body so they know that their life is in their hands they will be talking about compassion for sure in fact i saw this very inspirational video former pro boxer ed Lattimore's courage to fight addiction if you want to look it up it's on youtube on starts with us and the most amazing i mean i almost cried when i when i was listening to him and he shares compassion he says when people don't understand compassion so here's the other part some of us come to our 5d from a love cycle so we don't know this human suffering we know how it is to feel emotionally sad with people but because we are already aware of our own differentiated self and we don't sit in empathy we sit in compassion so our third eye which is really your prefrontal cortex is active in a proactive way thinking how can i help the situation is there anything i can do so when we have friends who are 3d 4d or other soul age groups for that matter and they're coming to us because that happens and they're coming to us with their protector lenses because they don't know about their non-secure attachment wounds because they're not looking at themselves as human beings they're looking at themselves in comparison and that's where again it's, it's oh what's wrong with me or what's wrong with somebody else this is an inner outer critic so the other part is that they don't have an inner growth mindset they have a critic mindset and so the critic will be towards themselves or the external and already there you have basically created a non-secure attachment with humanity you already feel non-secure with humanity in the first place and so you're not moving into space of 5d within you so 5d again i use it interchangeably to mean unconditional love and neutrality it's for a person who is secure attachment a person who knows how to be in equanimity because they're always in a state of compassion and i mean always even if they're having some stuff go down their integration mind as i'm learning from dan siegel so like when i have my panic attacks i'm still very much present aware i don't have a destabilizing it's uncomfortable to say the least but i've never like been oh my god you know like emotionally basically not making sense if you will not that it's good or bad but those of us who have an integrated mind we use left and right brain mode very easily some people they don't realize how to use their own mind because they actually don't learn about it they don't learn about a lot of things about being a human and here's the part about human evolution and consciousness the fifth dimension when i started to learn about it i didn't think of it as something from god or source or an entity because that to me relates to a time in the past when we didn't have science that gave us answers to things so the medieval people can stick to their stories that's great and dandy it's identity right there and here's why the soul age groups i mentioned them so a person who's inclined to be in 5d will not have any issue dismantling aspects of society because we already know that social construction of reality that we book remember is actually not sticking around always like it goes through transformation so what we find humorous is when people use labels and then they're just calling each other names so like the poly secure and just polyamorous overall the array of individuals that don't know what it means that misunderstand but really this is where with clairs they don't know what it's like when you actually have a dream state where you're connecting consciously to other lives and you know it's not just in your dream but you also know it's not something you have to bring to the table either so our relationships they are like rumi says not in separation and we don't have to use the word soul either which in fact i prefer not using because it has nothing to do with soul it has everything to do with are you a person who has secure attachment if you do then you will be able to be in compassion as a human being as a functional adult forgiving and nuanced because your integration brain but you did it your integration mind and you chose every day to love everyone and to be respectful and to communicate the communication so when people shy away they don't communicate and there's shame cycle for you 
But before we close, if you're interested in more on 5D, go to Alexandrian Cosmos. That one gives you a very nice timeline, and we'll be back with more. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great day.